I definitely agree that this sort of citizen researcher, right, the average person can now do research more effectively. But my perspective, uh, the metaphor I think about and we work with with our team and clients is like Google Analytics. Where, you know, 15 years ago, that became an available and ubiquitous technology and everyone adopted it. But nowadays, you still have some companies who have Google Analytics implemented on their website or in their app, and that's all they have. Then you have clients like ours who have giant data warehouses and full uh, ELT teams who are building pipelines of data to go into different data warehouses. And it's ostensibly the same thing, product analytics. But the, the variation from the kind of generic implementation of a tool and the expert implementation of an ecosystem and the utilization, that gap is is massive, right? I think about my friends who work at like quantitative hedge funds, They're, that level of sophistication and detail and big data is being done at the best consumer companies as well, right? These are PhDs in astronomy, for example, who are using data in ways that an average product person couldn't. So I see the same thing with research where like the, the, the ground is maybe getting higher to a new plateau of what average looks like. But I think that Delta between the best companies and the average company is that's where value is created, right? This is changing the table stakes of what you should, you should know how many people are coming to your website and what buttons they're clicking on. Everyone should know that 20 years ago, no one knew that. Now everyone should be able to execute and analyze research and get insights in a way that's meaningful, but fully automating that by technology uh, is not gonna be as valuable as when humans are involved to uh, do you know uniquely human tasks. Some of that is complex analysis, right? Complex managing of data. To me, it's much more about context and curation. I think depending on the, the, the context you're in, so for financial services research, perhaps, you know, this is not our business, right? This is a market we're trying to understand. So general understanding might be valuable. For our clients who are building very complex cybersecurity technology, AI does not have the context of their business, their questions, their institutional knowledge, the internal debates, their product roadmap to give them very clear curated insight. So to your specific question about how are people involved, I think providing context and active curation will always be fundamentally human. And I also believe some of this more advanced analysis or stuff that's non-obvious that requires intuition or understanding, like didn't we have a conversation about this three years ago with Gary, right? That's the type of stuff that AI is not gonna know, but someone who's inside an organization is gonna be able to pull that. So I've got a, long, a longer answer to this, but I, I, that's, my, that's the first thing I would say.